interface is really useful when you want to create reusable code and where you can use that and what's the definition i have recorded a video on this topic and i'll put the link for that video please check that video first if you want to understand this video okay so in this video we are just going to do coding and we'll see how can we use the interface okay so let's go into this coding part and let me just project explorer and i'm going to create one interface that is i employee okay and this is the interface so that's why i'm prefix it with i it's not necessary that it's need to be prefixed with i but it's better to you know differentiate now i'm going to create two method here one is that is eligible for for insurance or something like that okay and this will just return me true or false and the next one is that get bonus amount let's suppose that's the method name and it will take that salary as let's suppose long and it will return as double or long it could be anything okay so this is the interface and that's the whole definition of this interface okay so let me just recap what we have learned in our previous video that interface is just a contract okay this is not necessary it's for easy to understand so this is a interface and this is a contract that it will have two method uh, one is this one another one is this one and it will not have any implementation details because this is just the interface this is the contract okay and the implementation will vary depending on different kind of implementation so if you watch my previous video then i'm just going to create two more classes that we discuss one is that permanent employee and the next one is the temporary employee and the third one is contractual employee okay so we have three different class that will implement this interface okay so i'm just going to write implements employee okay now let me just use rubber duck to easily put this interface and to just let me just get rid of that and i'm just going to copy paste this line in all of these three different classes okay so for the permanent employee is eligible for insurance yes that's true and for let's consider that the bonus will be like you know let's suppose i have a public although that so let me just create the private private salary as double let's consider that and i could just create some getter and setter for that one Oops, that failed wrap into this so I'm just going to copy paste that in all of this. Okay. So the return, yeah, sorry, bonus amount is going to be just 10%. Consider that. Oh, we are just taking the salary. So I don't need to create that actually here. But let's just use that salary multiply by 10% okay so that is 0 0.10 and for the temporary employee eligible for insurance that's not eligible for insurance that's the implementation detail so you could have true as well and let's say 5% 0 0.05 okay so actually in this case we could just get rid of that salary part this will be easier so permanent let me just get rid of that and contractual okay so for the contractual that is going to be no that's it's not eligible for insurance and i could just say okay 
the bonus is going to be always zero because we don't give bonus for contractual employees okay so that's the case now we could have a runner code that client code that will use these three different implementation sorry so that is let me just rename this to runner. just code something like that now we could have like dim permanent as permanent employee we could just i'm just keeping this simple and then we could have as temporary employee yes temporary employees and we can have contractual shell endpoint okay now we have a method that print bonus okay and this is the main place where we are using the interface okay so the parameter it will take that employee as i employee it's not taking as permanent employee it's not taking as a temporary employee or contractual employee it's taking as a i employee so you can pass permanent employee in this section you can pass temporary employee or you can pass contractual employee in this part it doesn't matter which what type of implementation you pass it will use this i employee interface okay and as you implement this i employee interface in these three different classes it will be acceptable value okay so let me just put this that emp dot get bonus amount okay look at this and i could just say okay the salary i need the salary as i don't know if it's exactly double or not uh, long so let me just consider it long so i could just pass this so let me just print this okay now print bonus and we're just saying okay ten thousand Oh, sorry. So I have to pass this permanent employee and I'm just going to copy paste this. This is going to be temporary employee and this is going to be contractual employee. Now if I just run this then you can see it's saying 100 that's the 10% of 1000. This is the 5% and this is the 0% okay. So basically you can see that this particular code that is the beauty of this that this is using an interface which doesn't care what type of implementation are you using so let's suppose if we have a new different type of employee that's let's say intern okay so we could create another class that is for intern intern and they will implement this interface as well so i'm just going to copy paste that uh, to intern now they are also not eligible for in, uh, insurance and the bonus amount let's consider that one person okay although that doesn't make any sense but let's say 0 0.01 .01. okay so you understand that depending on the implementation this amount is different right and this value is different uh, we are making this example as very easy we can create another real example i will show you a real example where i am using in a production code okay instead of this dummy code so now if i just create another employees that i could just just call this that paint bonus intern intern and then let's say 1000 and if i run this now that's the 10 because this is the one percent of 1000 okay so that's the beauty that i don't need to change this particular code okay and this particular code is always going to work because we create a contract that while you are passing as an employee i employee it will work okay so now so that's the example you can just create another interface for different type of employee and then just update this code and then this part will work okay so that's it another another example is that let's suppose you're 
exposing some APIs, okay? And you don't know what kind of implementation they will use, right? In that case, you can create interface and then expose that interface, okay? I have experience, you know, implementing external interface and that's quite interesting because the developer for that external API doesn't know what kind of Im implementation we need. So that's why they expose an interface and I can implement that interface and create my own custom logic for that particular method or for that particular function. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any question and I will get back to you. And if you have any suggestion for new video, let me know as well. Have a good day. Thank you.